Hey guys, this is Mr. VPN, and today we're going to be talking about how to connect to a VPN server in Japan. Now this is pretty easy nowadays because most VPN services have come out with VPN apps. So it's really just as simple as downloading, installing, and choosing your VPN server location. So the one I'm going to be using today is Viper VPN. This is one of my favorite VPN services because they're easy to use, they're easy to deal with. And they're always improving. A lot of these servers are new that they've put up within the last year or two. You can see they have live chat support going on all the time and a very user-friendly app that we're going to connect to in just a second. So I've already put my user credentials in there. And then I'm going to pick Japan from the drop-down menu and double-click. And that's it. <laughs> We're now in Japan. That was pretty fast. I'm actually surprised. A lot of times VPNs in the past that I've used when they connect to Southeast Asia and Asian countries, it usually takes a lot longer. But this is quite fast. Japan, Japan, and Japan. So the internet or websites are at least detecting that we are in Japan, which is good enough for me in this demonstration right now. If you ever do find that you want to connect to like a Japanese streaming website or for whatever reason the Japanese website doesn't allow you to connect because they say you're connected to a VPN, a lot of times it has to do with the cookie conflict where you have some cookies uh, or something stored in your browser cache that is telling the website that you're actually not, you know, showing your original location. So all you got to do is clear that stuff out then reconnect to the VPN. Close your browser, reconnect to the VPN, start the browser again, and most of the time that'll fix that up. I run into that a couple times. Last thing I want to say is that there are a three-day free trials for all of the packages that Viper VPN offers, and I will link to them in the description. The most uh, or the, the most important differences that you need to know about is the basic one has one connection and the basic encryption was going to be PPTP. We're still good enough to change your IP, but it's just not as secure as some of the upgraded ones, which is OpenVPN, L2TP, IPsec, and Chameleon. This one also has a NAT firewall, so you're much more protected on the security and privacy front, as well as you have two simultaneous connections. So this is good if you have a computer and phone that need to be connected at the same time. Oh, and they do have apps for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Anyway, that's about it. Don't forget there's a free trial linked in the description. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.